Hi there, Julie. The judge in this case said we would have his ruling by 5 o'clock tonight on whether or not 17-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse will be sent back to Wisconsin to face charges. Both sides in this case making highly technical legal arguments, which all basically boiled down to this. Was the paper was the paperwork done correctly? Now, prosecutors say 17-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse left his home in Antioch this past August, two days after the police shooting of Jacob Blake in Wisconsin. And Rittenhouse had his rifle with him. He, along with others, were civilians patrolling the streets after days of rioting in Kenosha. Prosecutors say while he was in Kenosha, he shot and killed a 36 year old man who threw a plastic bag at him and tried to wrestle his rifle away from him. And then, while he was trying to get away, he tripped and fell and was hit by a 26 year old man with a skateboard who also tried to take his rifle. Prosecutors say Rittenhouse shot and killed him, as well as wounded another man who was holding a handgun. His attorneys have called Called this a case of self-defense and extraditing him back to Wisconsin to face intentional homicide charges and a number of other charges would violate his constitutional rights. The Lake County State's Attorney says all of the paperwork in this case is in order and both the governor of Wisconsin and Governor Pritzker have signed that paperwork to send Rittenhouse back to Wisconsin to face the charges. The defense uh, said that that they that this is a case of self-defense. They did want to call a number of witnesses including Rittenhouse's mother, but instead decided against it and called this a political prosecution. And since the paperwork is not in order, the teenager should go free today. Now, this would be highly unusual if the judge does rule in Rittenhouse's favor in this case. Just talking with people in the courthouse here, no one could remember any time recently when an extradition case actually went this far. Once again, we do expect the judge's decision by 5 o'clock this evening. We are live in Waukegan, I'm Eric Rung, WGN News. Okay, Eric, thanks so much.